So a different topic that I wanted to bring up. This is it my favorite? It, it is your favorite, the construction documents. Now, you are a whiz at not you only... It. You can say it. I'm a psycho. No. You're a, a master at taking something that is a little bit complicated and streamlining it to something simpler. When I was talking to you about what you had done, it's the same thing as what I was just talking about. You saw a need. You saw that it was a little bit more difficult than what it could have been. And then you basically orchestrated a really good solution. So if I could have you highlight or talk about that a little bit. I have to give you a kudos back because, again, that's another thing that actually gave me a bit more insight into how your brain works, to be honest. Because when I was watching you try and dive into these different niches to help the community, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really neat that... I'm like, ah, so refreshing. Because you think outside the box, but you are also showing people how you're doing it. And yeah. a lot of people want to hoard that to themselves. And I'm like, God, there's enough pie to go around with everyone. Exactly. Everybody, everybody can eat. Mm-hmm. Stop being greedy. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. But with respect to construction documents, so I, just to preface this, my father's an electrician. I organized his office from when I was... Uh, yeah. The, the, yeah, that was when the QuickBooks came in. But oh. it was like 12, 13, and then the QuickBooks came in, and I was like, oh, and he used that same system that I set him up with up until probably about five, six years ago. Mm-hmm. And I jumped back in, and I was like, oh, yeah, by the way, I started my bookkeeping business in 2014, Poppy. Yeah. Me again, and I'm like, oh my God, you're still using my system from that long ago? It was. That's just a testament to you that you made a good system if he's been using it for that long. But that's what it's all about. Yeah. So fundamentally, everything we do, whether it's checking our emails or scheduling a client or wh- whatever the case may be, every single thing can mm-hmm. be broken down into micro steps. Mm hmm. And then that's where you find the efficiencies. Yes. So what I saw specifically was that construction is so heavily documented. Mm -hmm. I have a little pet project that I'm trying to do with payment applications that I'm trying to see how I could make that somehow be a little bit more automated. But for now, it's the notice of commencement process. Mm -hmm. Florida, any project that's valued over $2,500 this is just facts from the internet, not me preaching. So you can put the disclaimer at the bottom, please. Yeah. You know I have to say it. I know. Oh, um, also, we're not lawyers. Oh, yeah. We're not lawyers. So we follow we're your not state judging. guidelines. Yeah. Follow your state guidelines and leave us alone. Anyway. <laughs> but the notice of commencement form, it, it's very important. It's really important. And it's also important that your homeowner actually knows why they're citing it. Yeah. It has to do with the lien laws of Florida. Now, if you don't, I'm not about to explain the lien laws of Florida, but they are very specific. They're very detailed and they're fantastic because they lay it all out there. Yeah. And I have added a significant stream of income because mm-hmm. of this one form, because of this one form that I made into a process. So before it used to be, Bob the contract, sorry, Bob the sales guy mm-hmm. would go to his client's house and he would be selling this project and he would hopefully get the form signed by them. Maybe it was notarized there. Maybe it wasn't. Eh, we hear, I honestly, I've heard horror stories. I know. When I did my fence in my backyard, I wrote my signature on a paper and I scanned it in and then suddenly it was notarized and he recorded that's not legal. No. It's not legal. No. So I said, how do I do this legally? Yeah. Like literally. And I go, how do I make money from it? And how do I do it legally? Mm-hmm. So it used to take them about two to three weeks. I now have it set up with my fantastic programmer, Dilip. And he's in India. I call him my Indian ninja. And I love him. I actually just talked to him a couple of times today. Yeah. But he developed an API process where... I have my Calendly set up for the appointment. They pick their date and time. 
Mm-hmm. And then the second they leave Calendly, it brings them over to a job form. Okay. Now I have one template for all of Florida that meets all the state statutes, which I'm mm-hmm. happy to share. No, really, I am. It, yeah. Like we all can eat, and the job form fills out based on their inputs. So they are filling oh, out. I see where going. They're filling out the instrument. Example: Palm Beach County. Just to give a mm-hmm. cut. Palm Beach County requires at the very tippity top. That it says this instrument prepared by. Yeah. I'm filling out the form. They are. Mm-hmm. So legally, they are filling out the form. So this instrument yeah. was prepared, but the instrument's the document, in case you don't know. So it's solving so many problems. Even better, but wait, there's more. <laughs> it actually takes them, once you finish the form, which of course I have like instructions on each step just to make sure. Yeah. But it's comfortable. Yeah. But the next step would be it going into the platform that I am currently using, which I'm trying to migrate over to Blue Notary in development. Mm -hmm. And but right now it goes into the platform that I'm using and actually pulls in the calendly date and time. Yeah. It pulls in the customer name and phone number and email. Mm -hmm. And it invites them to the session. So guess who just has to show their pretty little face? Ensure that they're being compliant, validate their identifications, Stan. But wait, Katie. Is there's there... one? You what? E recording. So then oh. I take an extra step and I e record it to the county land records. Mm-hmm. Done, usually at Hillsboroughs is my favorite. So if you're watching Hillsborough County Clerk, I love you or all of you. As long as I get in before three, it's like in an hour. I'm like, I love you guys. Yeah. But. There's some that take two or three days. I've had one up to a week, but once it's done, I upload it back to the contractor's Google Drive. Yeah. And yeah, that's how it goes. That's the but process. Honestly, but that was a three and a three, four week process before. Yes. Yeah. I wanted to hit on that because I know that there is, I think that this is going to be a very popular episode because it's going to help the construction people, it's going to help the homeowners, and then it's going to help people that are doing the permit pulling because it's going to cut down on time. Because I know that there's people that do this that do not automate it the way that you do. Delip. Delip automated it. Yes. The idea, delip yes. put it to action. Yes. So, yes. But, but that's one of the things that I love about our industry is that we see needs and then we fill them. We're very much entrepreneur- entrepreneurial. Spirited. Yeah. Yes. Um, because there's, I, I think that our career lends itself to people that don't basically wait around for other people to make the system better they see it and they're like okay i'm gonna fix this or i'm gonna make this if nobody else is going to and then how many times how many times you and i message each other a question and then within five seconds we're already answering our own question yes and that's that literally why i was just like oh i love you <laughs> you have to be that type of person if you're not you're in the wrong don't be a notary honestly give up go away pack it up bye because it is very oh, Oliver. get out you do have to be very driven in this industry, I believe. Like to be able to be successful, you have to be driven. yeah, you have to be driven. There's nobody that's really. It's really nice because you're autonomous. There's nobody telling you what to do, but at the same time, unless you tell it yourself and then you do it, uh, it's very. You don't get anything done. There's nobody stopping you from not doing anything all day. So. Yeah.